Hello everyone, my name is Marsha Nuts, and today I want to talk a little bit about the review process on Bracelet Book. As some of you may know, I'm actually a moderator on Bracelet Book, which means that I get to look at all the patterns, photos, videos, and comments before they get submitted to the website. Although comments, I believe, actually get submitted instantaneously, I just can remove them if they're inappropriate. In any case, I just wanted to walk you through the process a little bit, with the consent of the admin, of course. Just because there seems to be quite a lot of confusion between the mods and the users. And I also know this because back when I was a user, I would sometimes submit patterns and they would get declined and I never understood why. So yeah, hopefully this will clear up some of the confusion that you might have. Before I go into this, I do have some notes here, but before I talk about them, I do want to mention that the mods aren't perfect. I mean, we're human, we make mistakes sometimes. So if you do think that you submitted a pattern or a photo, video, whatever, and it got declined for an incorrect reason, you can reach out to the mods. You can reach out to the mod that declined whatever you sent in, and you can find that in the decline message in your notifications. But before you do that, please actually listen to all of the rules, because maybe I will answer some of those questions for you before that. So for everything that we review, there is a specific set of rules, and sometimes these rules get added onto as time progresses because we think of another thing that we should add to them. This is why some of the patterns that you might see on the website don't actually follow some of the rules that I'm gonna mention here, because they were probably submitted before those rules were put in place. For example, jumping ahead a little bit, we have a rule where we don't accept patterns that are just exclusively simple text. And that is because the admin actually added a function where you can literally type text out and create a pattern. So it takes two minutes to create a pattern like that, and there is no reason for there to be a million different patterns with a million different texts on it, unless it is an alphabet. Alphabets are okay because then you can create whatever you want out of them yourself, like, but just any simple text like your name or just a phrase, we don't accept that anymore because that can be created in like literally two minutes. But because this function was added relatively recently, there are still quite a lot of patterns that were added before that that are accepted to the website. So you might see them and think, oh, mine didn't get accepted, they must just not like me or whatever. It's never personal. Whenever anything gets declined, never personal. Anyway, let's get, talk about the rules a little bit. So the first rule is keywords. There should be at least four keywords on the pattern and they should be valuable. They should relate to what the pattern is about to make it more searchable. You have to think of keywords as if you're the one searching for the pattern. What would you want people to type in the search bar to find your pattern? If the pattern is of a cute cat, for example, it could be cat, animal, cute, pet, Things like that, things you want people to search to find your pattern. If it's a picture, try describing what the picture is about. If it's from a TV show, put things from the TV show into the keywords so that people will be able to find it. We tend to not accept patterns that don't have four keywords at least. And if the keywords aren't relevant, that can also be a reason for us to decline a pattern and ask you to input more relevant keywords. The second rule for patterns is when colors are too similar to one another. We actually do have some software on the website that allows us to sort of see if the colors are too similar. And you can also see this when you are submitting the pattern as one of the warning messages at the top. If your colors are too similar, it will put a warning at the top and telling you that. We also see those warnings when we are approving patterns, so that may be a reason that we decline a pattern. If you think that the software got it wrong and that the colors are still quite distinguished, even though the warning says they're too similar, you can still submit it and we might accept it if we also agree. This is a little bit more subjective, but we do this because think about how many strings you have in your collection. Unless you're someone like me who really is into bracelets, you probably don't have that many strings. So it can be very difficult to get that variety of colors. But not only that, it's very difficult to tell these colors apart when you're actually looking at the pattern. If there's two slightly different shades of blue, unless you look at the string names like ABC at the top and really, really track all the strings, it can be very confusing and you can get the strings wrong. And that's only about normal patterns. In alphas, for example, if you look at the grid, you can't even see the ABC type stuff on the grid, you only see the colors. So it can be pretty much near impossible to get all the colors right if they're too similar. Also when it comes to black, we tend to not accept actual black. So like the deep dark black won't get accepted on your patterns. It has to be a little bit lighter, a little bit grayer. That is because it doesn't show up on the grid properly if it's too black. And that does come up in a warning as well when you submit the pattern. So make sure to check those. Simple patterns. This can be a little bit controversial. I've seen a lot of people complain about simple patterns. It's really a matter of balance when it comes to accepting or declining really simple patterns. One of the main things that we look at when we accept or decline things is making sure that the pattern adds value to the community. And if the pattern is too simple, say 
just a square or just a heart, we might not accept that because you can literally create that in two minutes yourself. Moreover, we probably have a ton of them already on the website, which is actually a separate point in itself, patterns that are too similar to patterns that already exist. First of all, we have variations, which I'm gonna talk a little bit about later. If you submit a pattern that is only different by like a single knot from a pattern that already exists, will be declined. It could be added as a variation if it doesn't change the design too much. If you wanna submit the same pattern but in different colors, submit it as a variation. But if say you wanted to submit a candy stripe using backward knots instead of forward knots, that's the same pattern, it's gonna be declined. And patterns that are too similar to other patterns, like with the whole it being too simple thing, like for example, a simple alpha heart, we have a ton of them on the website already, so it's gonna be declined because it's way too simple. I was actually reviewing patterns very recently and I had this paw pattern come up, which was beautiful, it was cute. It was a very simple paw pattern. I'm sure a lot of people would love to make it. We already have a ton of them. So before submitting a pattern, especially a simple pattern, click on the patterns and search for whatever you're doing. So if it was a paw pattern or a heart pattern, search for paw, search for heart and you'll probably find what you're looking for there already. I already talked about this a bit, but word patterns. We don't accept word patterns anymore, unless they are somehow decorated, and I'll talk a little bit about it in a second. Word patterns in general, just typed words, like best friends or you know martial arts or whatever, if you wanna add your name. We don't accept those anymore because specifically the admin added a function where you can actually type to create a pattern. And you can find that in the create patterns tab. It takes a minute to do, there's no point in submitting it because anyone can do it. We do accept alphabets. For example, if you find a very interesting font because you can actually upload your own fonts to the site as well and you want to create an alphabet out of that, submit that. It's probably gonna be very big, but submit that anyway. We're gonna accept that because when you're creating your own design, you can literally just like take and make one letter of that, make another letter of that, and then you have all the letters, you can make whatever you want. I'm probably gonna do a video on actually how to do that at a different point in time, but you can do that. So alphabets are fine, but if you wanna write something out, not fine, we don't accept that. The only exception to that rule is something that is decorated. So some kind of text that is decorated. Also logos, but I'm gonna talk about logos in a second as well. And when I mean decorated, I don't mean write a text and then add a little heart at the end, because I've had a lot of people uh, submit that as well. That will get declined, that doesn't really count as decoration. When we talk about decoration, we mean a word that is somehow incorporated into a design. For example, this pattern. Yes, this is a word, this is just a word, but it is decorated, it is incorporated into the design. It is not just plain text. Or for example, this pattern, which is actually one of my patterns. See what I mean? It's text, but it's part of a design. So it's different than just plain text. And I'm trying to explain this because I know that I also got it wrong. If I look back at all my patterns before, I've been a member of Bracelet Book since a while ago, probably like 2012. So I've, I have a lot of patterns here from way back when. I think this was around the time when they added the whole no text without decoration rule. So I thought if I just add a background, that counts as decoration. That got accepted then, but it wouldn't be accepted now because just adding a rainbow to the background doesn't count as decoration. I hope that made sense. This is a little bit more nuanced. It's not sort of straightforward. So if a moderator declined your pattern based on that, but you think they got it wrong, it's fine to message them and say, hey, we th I think you got this wrong. I think this should have been accepted. All right, let's talk about size. This also correlates to patterns being too simple. If a pattern is quite simple, but it's massive, it will probably get declined because there's no reason that it should be like 100 by 100 wide. This more relates to alphas than normal patterns, but normal patterns as well a little bit. Keep track of your size. If you can make it smaller, make it smaller. If it doesn't need to be big, it doesn't need to be big. Unfinished patterns or patterns that need tweaking. This can also be a little bit controversial because us mods and you might have different ideas of what needs tweaking and what doesn't need tweaking. This mostly relates to alphas, but if we see a pattern that has a ton of different colors and a ton of different pixels, it might look messy to us and it might look like it's unfinished work, which a lot of the times it is. A lot of the time people upload photos through the photo to alpha generator and then don't tweak them enough to make them to make them look like actual patterns and just sort of submit it as is with it having like 20 different colors, which is near impossible to actually make. This also relates to the whole colors being too similar thing. But in other cases, people want their patterns to look like that and we might view it as unfinished. Maybe you want your pattern to have rough edges. Maybe you're submitting a pattern of a sword and we think that the sword should be nice and polished, but you know that the sword has to have dents in it. That's part of the design. When we see those dents and we think, oh, the person probably forgot to add pixels for that, but you know that's not the case, that's part of the design. If we decline it, message us. We're not mind readers, we don't actually know things like this. We make mistakes, so it's fine to message us. 
borders on alphas. We don't accept patterns that have borders around them in alphas. Don't really have much to say about that, but if the pattern can do without a border, do it without a border. If it's part of the design, that's different. And if that gets declined, message us once again. But if the pattern can do without the border, submit it without the border. Another controversial one is messy patterns. This sort of relates to the whole tweaking issue, but also I think it can be classified as its own separate thing because it's mostly prevalent in normal patterns. Messy patterns, in my opinion at least, are patterns that look like someone just opened the generator for the first time, played around with it a little bit, came up with something weird and submitted that. They don't look like designs. They look like just a sort of blob. That might sound really harsh, but I don't mean it to be that way. I know that I've submitted plenty of messy patterns back in the day that have been declined as well. As I mentioned before, one of the main things we look at is that the fact that the pattern adds value to the community. And if a pattern is messy, it probably doesn't add value to the community. But again, that's a very, very subjective thing. And we might not know that your messiness is part of the design. Like if you want it specifically to look like that and that is part of your design and we decline it because we think it's messy, message us. And last but not least in patterns is logos. If you are submitting a logo of something, make sure to put that in the tags. Because specifically with text, if it's just plain simple text, we accept that if it's a logo. So make sure to let us know that it is one. All right, let's talk about variations. There's pretty much only one rule about variations. Don't submit variations that are very similar to variations that already exist or to the original pattern itself. That will get declined. Anything else is pretty much fine. If a pattern has a million different variations already, we're probably not gonna accept another one. There are some really popular patterns that have that. We try to limit the amount of variations that a pattern has. That might not get accepted, but in general, variations are pretty much fine. There are a lot of things we look at in photos, but mostly we look at photo quality. And by that, we mean that the photo isn't too small because that won't really look good on screens and the photo isn't too blurry. Also lighting, that kind of thing. Just overall photo quality has to be good. The bracer in the photo also has to be at least somewhat finished, maybe more than half. If you've only made like two rows, there's no point submitting a photo of that because you can't really see the pattern anyway. We don't accept duplicate photos. So if you have a photo with a couple bracelets in it, you can only submit it to one of the patterns. You can't submit the same photo to three different patterns, even if there are three different bracelets in the photo itself. So one photo, one pattern, choose one of them or take separate photos of all three bracelets, whatever. We don't accept photos with colored borders because they look weird on the website. So don't add colored borders to your photos. And we also don't accept photos with giant text or giant emojis on, on the photo itself. I'm not saying don't add them, just don't make them too big. If they're huge, they are gonna overpower the actual bracelet itself and it looks weird. And one last thing, we don't accept photos that have the pattern ID in them, whether that be in the photo itself or edited on top of it. If the pattern ID is in the photo, we don't accept that because sometimes we need to delete patterns, sometimes we need to merge two patterns if we find out it's a duplicate. In that case, we can transfer your photo if a pattern gets deleted onto the other pattern that was the original of the duplicate, but then your pattern number on the photo won't make sense. It would link to a pattern that doesn't exist anymore, which is why we don't accept if they have the pattern number on them. Hope that makes sense. And last but not least, let's talk about comments. It's pretty much very simple. We tend to decline comments that are insulting, spam, or somehow inappropriate. That's pretty much it. Another thing we look at in the admin section are links, but links are very individual. There aren't really set rules. It's just a very individual basis thing that we look at. I think that's it. Overall, I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about. In general, the mods are people. We make mistakes sometimes. We have a mod chat where all the mods are and the admin and everyone else. We talk about patterns all the time, whether or not to accept or decline. Literally every day there's a ton of different patterns submitted to that chat where we discuss whether or not it fits the criteria. We discuss mistakes that we've made if someone accepted a pattern that should have been declined, if someone declined a pattern that should have been accepted. We have these talks all the time. We also bounce off ideas and stuff off of each other. So definitely if you think that we made a mistake, message the moderator and you can see who accepted or declined your pattern in the notifications tab. And if your pattern gets declined, you can also find it in your patterns page. The decline message is also there. Message us if you think we've made a mistake. Don't be afraid to do that. But yeah, in general, I hope that sort of cleared it up a little bit. There tends to be a lot of confusion, so thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. You can also ask questions in the chat. But most importantly, please remember that if we decline a pattern, it is never personal. We are not out there to get you. So yeah, thanks for watching. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays and sometimes bonus videos like this one sprinkled there randomly in between. So keep your eyes out for that and I'll see you next time. Bye.